Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moss Norman, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about seven OMSCS courses that don't require a background in math. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I don't have a background in math. My undergraduate degree is in creative writing, and coming into the program, I didn't take any like prior math classes to prepare for the program. And the courses that I'm gonna be talking about in this video are all courses that I took in the OMSCS program. To give you a little bit of perspective when I say that these seven courses don't require a background in math, my highest level of math that I completed was in community college, and it was pre-calculus. I never even made it to calculus. That's probably something I shouldn't be bragging about, but hopefully that gives you a little more context. Okay, so now let's talk about the courses. Course number one, Intro to Information Security. This is considered an easier course in the program, and the uh, course consists of some coding projects, they cover various areas of information security. Course number two, Graduate Introduction to Operating Systems. This course is really all about introducing you to the concept of multi-threading and client-server architecture uh, and IPC. There's really no math required for this course. Course number three, Advanced Operating Systems. This course takes intro to operating systems a step further and you learn about remote procedure calls, you implement a simplified version of the MapReduce framework, but the course does not require a background in math. Now, let me add a disclaimer about these courses. Just because they don't require a background in math doesn't mean that they're easy courses. Advanced Operating Systems was easily the most difficult course that I took in the program. Arguably, Graduate Algorithms was the hardest, but I think in terms of workload, advanced operating systems had a way higher workload than uh, graduate algorithms did. Course number four, computer networks. In this course, you do projects that focus on like software defined networking and shortest path algorithms, but it doesn't really require a background in math. Course number five, software architecture and design. The first half of this course focuses on writing design documents and then the second half actually uh, focuses on implementing the design that you wrote. Course number six, educational technology. This course is really flexible in what you can do. You can do something like a, a research project or you can do some sort of coding project or you can actually uh, build a course like I did on Udemy that is like a tutorial course. Whatever project you pick, it has to relate to educational technology. So obviously this gives you the flexibility to pick a project that isn't going to involve really any math. This was definitely one of my favorite courses. And last but not least, Introduction to Graduate Algorithms. This may seem like a controversial course because it's about algorithms and you might associate algorithms with like higher level math, but the math required in Graduate Algorithms is math that you can learn during the semester or even math that you've probably picked up here and there throughout the program. In general, the math that you encounter in Graduate Algorithms isn't really higher level math. I think the closest that you get, or the highest that you get, rather, is linear programming, and you don't really uh, dive deep into linear programming. You only skim over uh, linear programming and graduate algorithms. And then you have to understand computational complexity, which is something that I think you can pick up on pretty, pretty quickly. That doesn't necessarily mean that identifying the complexity of a particular algorithm is easy. That can be really challenging, but the actual concept of computational complexity, I think, uh, is something that you can learn, you know, during the semester. So those are seven courses in the OMSCS program that don't require a background in math. Any math that those courses require can be learned during the semester. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that you can get through pretty much the entire program without having to touch higher level math. And I would say that this list isn't all inclusive. I think there are other courses similar uh, in that they don't require higher level math. These are just ones that I can speak to from personal experience. Another example of a course that probably doesn't really require a lot of math is software development process. Anyway, I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, please consider throwing a like on it and subscribing to the channel for more videos. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them below in the comments. Thanks for watching.